good morning good afternoon good night whenever you guys are watching this i just want to say thank you for clicking on the video and if you even find this a little bit interesting please consider giving a like or a comment or a sub most importantly this really helps me and kind of lets me know what people are really enjoying to watch i am trying to grow sue me so as you can see i'm talking about halo and how i think cyberpunk is actually doing a great service for halo i know it's weird we haven't really seen anything like there's no cross promotions or anything but i think it's actually something that's better for all of us so if you don't know you're not a halo person halo infinite was or yeah halo infinite was supposed to come out in the end of 2020 in, the, in q4 of 2020 so i think it was originally supposed to be october obviously that didn't happen then it got pushed to q1 or q2 of 2021 and now it's got pushed back all the way now to about q4 of 2021 so most likely going to be a november release date to try to compete with um the with other games in the holiday season I think Cyberpunk absolutely crapping on the very beginning is huge for Halo fans. It now kind of justifies the reason why the game is delayed. Last year we saw a little bit of gameplay trailer and people ripped it to shreds. I was not one of those people but I was a little concerned seeing that that was the only gameplay we've seen at, at that point in time but you know what i'm fine with it i would rather a game work on release than it just absolutely tanking because i think if this does not do well this could be one of the ends of halo i don't think halo as a franchise is ever going to go away but i think the mystique of it and the prestige of the game is going to kind of die out going forward i know games like fortnite had it in had like master chief in and then I've, of course bought it. like i've never i haven't played fortnite in a very long time but i still bought it just because every now and then i do get on and i would like to support my favorite franchise of all time i've spent almost two decades now at this point just loving this series and i want to see it thrive going forward i think cyberpunk pushing like i said it did much more for halo than than fortnite did i know fortnite has the stupid amount of players still playing it but i think having a game tank at the beginning and people going from very disappointed to understanding i know the game's going to be free to play multiplayer and i think that's a huge step forward and i think that's actually going to be pushing more companies in the right direction hopefully call of duty is in that right direction because uh, it is yeah, that game is taking a crap but i think halo if, if it works out and it pushes forward i think we could be seeing a huge jump in the quality of halo and other games because look halo was one of the first triple a console shooters to push free maps and everything so and, and now you see call of duty working on it so I, i'm not going to say it was all because of halo but i think it gave a good model for other companies to follow suit I really am interested to see how the game is going to work out. I'm very excited for the game. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get it, but it makes sense. I didn't get my Series X right away. I got it like a month after the release, but I know a lot of people still don't have theirs. I know people are still trying to get PS5s and everything. I know it's different, but it gives people more time at least to get the console that they're trying to get the series x or the series s and maybe we can have it as a next gen exclusive which i think would be great because i think it would kind of force people to go okay look maybe it's time to upgrade the system is there for sorry there's an amazon package 
like this the system has been around for was it eight years now at this point for the xbox one so maybe it'll push people to moving up i really have high hopes for it i think having free to play multiplayer is huge i'm really excited to have halo back even if it is advanced movement look look i'm not the biggest fan of advanced movement in halo but it's better halo 5 great i enjoyed it very much not going to be playing it until the release of infinite i'm going to be sticking with master chief collection but it's mainly because it's hard to find a game and the games that i do find it seems like it's coming from people who just don't play anything else but halo but halo 5 but and that's fine I, i'll go crap on kids in master chief collection like i've never left halo 1 or halo 3 so i'm a part of the problem over there whatever um, it's been five years since we've got a new Halo game, so, actually it's going to be six years at this point, right? Yeah, six years. I remember the day it actually happened because I almost died. I almost died to a, <laughs> a driver under the influence, ran right in my car. But, you know, that's here or there. So I had a good first experience with Halo 5. So I'm hoping Halo Infinite, I can have a better experience with it. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how the game goes. I'm going to hopefully either do a, a battle pass kind of situation, no loot boxes, and if there is loot boxes, I hope it's just cosmetics only, like unlock and stuff like that, but I don't think that's going to be possible with how the free-to-play is going to be, but I hope there's still some challenges that I can go for that I can look different or say that I have and can show off in-game. That is really my big thing. So... Like I said, I have a lot of things planned for this channel going forward. Um, if you like this, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that, trying to hit 1,000 by the end of 2021. Um, and that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.
Two minutes left. Thirty seconds. 